So this is an example of a matrix in um, the Mac version of Envivo. Um, so we're going to do a fairly simple one just to demonstrate the process and um, the steps. So you can see here that we've been doing some broad brush coding. And I'm just going to aggregate these codes because they have some refined codes underneath them. So I'll just aggregate those to make sure that they're showing everything below. Now, we're not gonna look at the fine codes, we're gonna look at the broad codes, and we're going to intersect two sets of nodes. But you could intersect themes or nodes with demographics um, or other types of data. So a, a matrix basically intersects things and you can pretty much intersect anything with anything else. I could look at, say, if I'm doing a, an in-case and cross-case analysis, I could put all my cases into the grid and I'd have an in-case analysis of I read all the coding down for a single case. And of course the content is behind it. And I'd have the same thing if I wanted to look across case to see how that occur in a similar or different way in other themes. In this example, I'm just going to intersect the attitudinal codes with the broad themes to see the distribution of sentiment across my coding. To do that, I go to the queries area and th the interface here, by the way, is the same pretty much in Windows and Mac. Some of the functions, uh, there's, a, there's a few more functions on the Windows side, but uh, the interface itself looks very similar in both. So I'm going to make a new query and it's a matrix coding query. And like any matrix, it has rows and columns, so I simply add things to my columns. So I'm going to click on the little plus sign here and select items and I'm going to add my thematic nodes, which are in here. So I'll take all of the major themes and they talk about balance, community change, the economy, infrastructure, won't take the memorable quotes, but the natural environment, policy management, real estate, and a sense of community. So I select the major themes and then they go. And then I select over here. Now, as I see, you, you, you can select anything. I could select demographics, but uh, case classifications, but I'm not. I'm going to select other nodes because we can intersect anything. So I'm going to take my sentiment nodes here and just see how they distribute across my themes. So I select those and that's pretty much it. I can save my query if I want to, but they're quick and easy to run. So there's probably no need. So I run the query and I get my result below and I get it in a table with numbers in it. So I can see the representation of sentiment across my themes. Now, if I want to, I can add some color in there. I can also change the values in the cells um, by right clicking on cell content here. I could switch that to files if I have separate interview files, because a case could say in a longitudinal study could have several files in it um, or coding references um, or cases the case doesn't always have to be a person and I can see here now by adding the shading in that when it comes to the discussions on the economy the discourse is more negative than positive but they're fairly split on real estate developments um, across the board and the same with the natural environment a uh, lot more negative about infrastructure so I get a sense there and of course the data is behind any of those if I drill into any of those cells I can see the pattern. I can see the pattern in the in the grid and then I can drill in to see qualitatively what might be behind that. We know they're saying more of something, but are they saying the same thing or something different? And finally, I can export my matrix um, if I want to represent it more graphically or to have more freedom to um, present it in a, you know, with more tools. So if I go to share here, I can put this out as a, an Excel table or I can send it straight to SPSS uh, or other formats as well. And um, and that gives me a lot more freedom in terms of presenting, you know, graphs, models, flow charts, etc. different ways I might want to present it or to polish up my table and make it look a bit nicer in Excel. Uh, and then if I like the results and if I think this is important, I can simply save the results as a, a table, uh, if you like. Um, as a matrix so I'm going to say major themes by sentiment so a matrix is generally something by something else I save my results and they're stored in the results folder and I have them 
so I don't have to run the query again. I can just recall them at any time by going into the results folder. And there it is. So I hope that's helpful in terms of uh, learning how to use a matrix in, in vivo for Mac.